and welcome. This is Terrahawk, and this is a first time play of an EA spot in the game. Game. Two years old, this is SSX. Uh, dating back to 2012, so three years out of date. Uh, it's <coughs> one of the last um, free games on PS Plus of 2015. Uh, if, you, if you see this video in time and hurry, you may still get to it. Um, SSX series is one that I've <coughs> never quite got to, but as you can see from the picture there, it's a snowboarding game, pretty much. Um, I always worry when I see the control layouts right from the off. Putting this little tip it makes you think there's actually going to quite a few bits you're having to deal with, which makes it a little bit more complicated than you're expecting. Uh, but yes, so this is a first time play of SFX. This is a long running series, uh, it's been out on several different consoles over the years. Uh, yeah, his terms and conditions. I'm already of origin, so I will accept these. Uh, but yes, go you those terms and conditions, of privacy policies, inside leg measurements, all part of the EA machine. Probably quite a few other things. Um, use for this one, I can un-sign up for the inside information. No, I don't want to send me stuff. I will hunt for that information myself, thank you. Um, I wouldn't read it if it said to me anyway, so I might as well save it for the time it's doing it. Hello world. Rydernet. Oh, hello. What's update 3.5 about 3.2.1 go events. Sounds like a Hasbro game of some sort of reason, isn't it? Um, Yes, so apparently they're changing how. See, they do all this wonderful thing, and that's the main update. And for someone who has never played the game, this is making a huge amount of sense. I mean, it's all clear what what's being said there. You know, I can see they're changing the various different modes of online play that this ties into. But you're kind of left wondering. Do I, as a new uh, signee, I suppose, new signee to this series, need to see that they've changed the way they deal with online gaming and given it a new name? I suppose there's a new game mode in there, and that much is interesting to know, but, you know, we're playing this game, we're what? over three minutes into this video now and all I've been doing is advancing past you know policy statements and game updates at least not any install game updates that's one advantage um, you know I kind of want to get into playing actually you know I'm thinking this might have been better to put and say if I was to go into whatever their online option is called, that would be a time to put this on and say, look, I, I presume, I, mean, I saw a briefing for something called RideNet. Oh my god, they're still going. Dear yeah, god. Um, so, a briefing for RideNet, I presume, this is one that's been EA, there's, there'll be some version of Autolog on the go. Um, and they'll be presumed that all my. PlayStation friends will be massively getting in touch with me as soon as they know I'm on this three year old game. Yeah, about that. But it will help us as a world tour, explore global events and ride net. I'm not sure I can go into global events. Why? Uh, whatever. But we're going to world tour. It is the tutorial. Follow each member of Team SSX and the unique skills to defeat Griff. Who is Griff? I presume we're not on about red, red, blue here. I presume this is something else. So they're te they're telling me all these things that kind of don't make any sense yet because I don't know the series. And I get that they're expecting people at this point playing this. Is DJ Tomica here, broadcasting live from my so. nifty little sound booth, bringing you all the latest news to shake up the world of extreme sports. 
So it turns out that recently, three of the best riders Snow, Surf, and Dirt have ever known have come together to do something big. The three riders in question are Surf Legend Tom Yeah, I still find that TV in Fallout. Mac Fraser and the Hello. Only Joey Turner. Random generic. SSX, short for snowboarding, surfing, and motocross. And they have an idea. They plan to ride yes. and conquer the world's nine most deadly descents. What was the one with SSM? So they've scoured the globe and built Team SSX from some familiar faces to a few new ones, and together they represent the nine best riders in the world. Recent news has found my ears, though, that one of their original team members, Griff Simmons, so this is three different extreme SSX. sports, but they all happen to be snowboarders. Most of SSX's funding was followed, so SSX Thanks, Griff. turned to their fans for help. Live streaming this monumental event will give SSX the funding they need to get right back in this thing and kick off the adventure. So are we saying then the way we're going to survive the against Griff is to be more popular than him? The stage is now set. Wouldn't the thing to be better? Get ahead of him? And how is it a race if he started first? to skyboarding so this is a snowboarding game and they're going to throw me out of a perfectly good aircraft okay all right whatever you want to do you don't have to worry about you know hitting the ground and as you're doing the tricks what the what on earth happened to the helicopter there uh, huh? Yeah, I don't need to know martial arts. There we go. Here's how to do tricks. Do I want to use the right stick? Or do I want to use action buttons? Right stick, action buttons. I think we'll go with action buttons yeah, here. let's see how we do let's start there we go I've already got spinning rotations and flips and spins Okay. Do they really care for the probably leave the board where I can see it and see what's going on. Okay, that's a different hole. So they blame and they make the button. I did grab the front of the board. Everybody else who don't whisper the ball gets the design of you. The red top really shit holds the blue stuff. Who's got the money for the PR cam to pull the wool over the eyes of the everyday man? How many press face things would they send to war without clear definition of what they fighting for? So what came first, the addiction on the primary pinstripe farm? Oh, hello. There we go. Front, so we kick out the side. Do that. And flip that way. Did that one already. Buttons have to be. There has to be enough of a difference between the buttons pressing the buttons down. If you try pressing them too quick, it won't register the first grab. So you have to actually let the grab go in, and then you can start doing twists. So it seems to be all about where you put the ball. Grabs, we do got this. Yeah, 
side with both hands. Yep, alright. Both hands. Hello. Seems pretty damn rigid considering. I'm sure. Well, maybe they do. I can't say I've skydived out of a helicopter at 8,000 meters. A snowboarding helps me. What? How does that stay on? I feel like this is a pretty cool. Good job, keep it up. Like you're kind of looking at her here doing all the grabs, and that's fine. But how is it staying to her feet? Oh, oh hello. At that point where I'm. I just turn it upside down. Stay upside down, start spinning. How does it stay on? Maybe it's magnetic. Oops, oh, ah. oh, I was actually planning to carry on doing a bit more play, but you know, the ground was coming up. I couldn't wait too long. So that's the first tutorial. I'm, I'm hoping for success. Sent. Hey, you're at two already, so you can give me another tutorial about the garage level. <sighs> Not a proper success in that way, is it? Welcome to the first stop on the SSX oh. Deadly Descent Road Trip. Thought we'd kick things off right here at home. And Start no better place America. To do it than the Rockies. Yeah, it's one. just pure backcountry riding at its best. Or worse, if you're not prepared. It's always best to lead by example. So I'm going to be the one Hello. that sets the bar Sorry. up there. The Rockies are all mine. My board and my suit have been specifically engineered to take all the knocks the toughest line of the Rockies can throw my way. But it's my skills what? as a rider that are going to get me to the deadly descent of Mount Robson. Nice. I've set up a few races along the way to keep us all sharp, as well as some live feed events. Does this just cause freeze tricky? So, let's not disappoint them. Big skull next to trees. Is it trying to make trees scary? <laughs> Alright, here we can actually pick stuff now. I don't have many options though. I have the option of the helicopter and I. Ooh. Those are all locked. There are other stuff there. So this is obviously a screen I'm going to be seeing quite a bit of. EA doing the usual. Here's the location and here are the races within. So now having shown I could do some tricks. They are actually going to let me loose onto the side of a mountain. And this is the point where you're going to watch me start to wipe out a little bit more. Uh, just plain wipe, I suppose. Let's not try and grab any racing, another racing game into this. Um, I, I will not make it down this mountainside without falling over once or twice. Oh, oh here we go. Oh yeah, she's got magnets on the inside of her feet. Now she's doing her kicks. So, God knows how she releases those magnets when she wants to do her tricks, but I'm sure it all makes sense somewhere. Off we go. That's good. Yep, left and right we can manage. That's also good. Okay, and tricks. Yep, alright. If it was just a race, I wouldn't need to worry about the race, I would be jumping. Yep, ah. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, I'm happy to stop moving, so it's a really good thing. Oh, there you go. Second jump, first fall. 
Oh, that would have been useful to know beforehand, wouldn't it? <sighs> Let's try it here. Oh, a bit more height. Oh, a bit. And straight onto my head. Ooh. Okay. Better to try and land next. Oh, here we go. We can grind now. Why did I jump so high? Okay. Oh, yep, so I tried to jump onto it, and why actually do you jump over it? Okay. There we go. Oh, these ridges are more cement to grind down the ridges. There we go. Oh, that's very useful that it does an auto land. That made that look almost look reasonable. I like the idea of an auto land. That comes. Oh, that on the other hand doesn't. Yeah, giving it about boost just so. Miss that grind rail. Miss that grind rail. Very reactive the left and right turns. Which is useful. So that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, there's a rewind. See, at this point, I keep tapping the L1 button. I'm not sure what I want the L1 button to do. I think it's I'm trying to hit the L2. And I'm just the way my fingers are landed at the minute. I can play yeah, the best yeah, yeah. yeah, Black Ops 3 and all that. Yeah, even letting go of stuff, you still need a second to jump up. Which I suppose makes sense. Jumps here and there. Yeah, so this is SSX. Um, I do say I'm a lot in this sort of videos. I'm trying to out for the first time. Bridge there, I need to be trying to get to the bridge. Oh, it's going to hurt. Oh no, it didn't hurt. I got my tricky. Who knew? And immediately gone there. I don't have time to actually do anything with it. Yep. As to be expected. Oh, I see. As to be expected, steering's quite more responsive than I'm used to. I'm swinging out everywhere. That's the end of it. Oh, did I make that one end? I think I did. Didn't get into the X, though. Yes. So. Uh, this is that was SSX, so that's the first two tutorial missions. I suppose I've already missed some XP on that one. There we go. So having done a couple of tutorials, that's unlocked Explore the Global Events. I have to say, I like the idea of the Explore, being able to go down and lift about the race and just get used to the slope seems quite nice um, so we could if we wanted to now go into a race I'm going to choose not to I'm going to choose to end this video here so this is SSX it's available for free now for PS Plus subscribers till the end of December I believe of 2015 um, Pick it up if you like the look at this. In the meanwhile, I've been Terrahawk. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.